Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Corbett, and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 4 of Sons of Carthage and Rome as Tunis, where today hopefully our goal is to grab ourselves a little bit of land here so I can complete, what is it, uh, this mission right here, which will give me a couple of sailors and some privateer efficiency. I don't know whether or not that'll be useful at all, but... I can at least advance down here to sponsor piracy, which will be quite nice to get done in the future. Also, of course, just getting some missions done out of the way is kind of nice as well. So, eh, we'll see if we can really do that. It depends. It really depends on whether or not I might just try and vassalize Tunis and give them the land. I'm not Tunis, sorry. I am Tunis Slumson. Perhaps. Maybe. It depends on quite a few things. First of all, I have that whole ambition to uh, embrace the Renaissance. And I have that whole conversion thing I have to do. So taking more land obviously does not make converting much easier to do at all. Uh, also, I think I will actually get rid of this. Because it's not really the most strategic thing in the world now that I think of it. So I'm going to save myself that much money at least. I'll also pick our idea group. I think I decided it would be religious. Now usually you wouldn't for some very good obvious reasons, but... Um, we're not really sure how much these rebels will convert when they're done. I mean, it's also going to take multiple multiple years until those rebels will pop. In fact, they'll take quite a long time. But eventually they'll get there. We just have to wait approximately, what is it, 12, 13 years? Yeah, about 13 years. And I want something to do in the meantime, so... What we're going to do is probably pick our idea group and at least get started on moving through it, if nothing else. It won't be immediately helpful, but it will be very helpful moving along down here. And if I decide to, say, swap off of Catholic to Protestant in the far kind of future, like 1520s kind of future, then I feel like that'll be kind of useful. So, I might as well grab it. I can't really think of much else I would take, so we're just going to stick with that. I mean, there's an argument to be made for diplomatic that improve relations, namely. It's kind of important, but, um, no, I think we're fine for now. I could have also taken, ooh, hold on, hmm, speaking of which, true faith, there we go, I might as well convert something else too, what is that, 12 years, it'll take a little while, uh, okay, anyways, there's a pretty solid argument to be made for a military idea, actually, I was so certain about religious, but... There's a pretty good argument to be made for um, taking something like quantity. Because the manpower in North Africa is, well, let's just say kind of garbage. The development is a little substandard, to say the least. So maybe getting some of that extra manpower would be quite nice. We have the money to actually field a good army, so... Hmm... So one of those rare opportunities, quantity, would not be a bad decision to take. Hmm. Okay, maybe I will. It's either quantity or something else, or offensive. One of the few things. I usually don't like taking quantity because I feel like it's much more useless. So instead, I'm just going to quell my desire for a military group by taking, uh, by taking offensive. Because sure, why not? As for our professionalism, I believe we have like nothing, so I'll go ahead and take that. Yeah, you know what? Taking uh, taking offensive and taking quantity are not really that different from each other. One gives you more manpower, one of them makes you save more manpower. Eh, they're pretty much the same thing, right? Anyways, we can gain some corruption or lose some. Well, I'm not about to pay off some money. I'd much rather just grant myself a bit of cash. There we go. Oh, I can also grab some my, uh, it's not some ideas, but I can grab some free points. Sure, might as well. Dilemma down here, might as well grant you something a little boring. How about, oh, I gave that to the, oh, I gave Tripoli to the Emirs. Did I do that or was it automatically assigned? I'm not even sure. I don't feel like I would give this away to the Emirs, so. I'd be confused if I did, but I could have. I have no idea, honestly. Anyways, we'll give something small away to uh, the Ulema. So we can grab ourselves some admin. 
over here do this for the Diplo and we're looking nice. All we have to do is wait for this thing to spread itself and that'll be pretty much it. Also, if I wanted to invade you, the Mamluks would help, okay. A minute ago they wouldn't have, but just unfortunate, I guess. Let me get some sort of a spy network in Castile so I can claim these three things here. Because I might as well. I don't think I have claims on these. No, I don't. Okay. I could also turn you into a vassal. I could turn Granada into a vassal and reconquest these areas. Don't suppose they have... Yeah, they don't have claims on any of these things. They, are, nah, they have claims, not cores, sorry. It wouldn't be so bad. They are within the culture group, but not quite the religion. I don't know. Might be some sort of an investment. Maybe not the best investment, but an investment nonetheless. Let's check on this institution. Aragon's grabbed it. Castile and Aragon hate each other, so this is going to take a little while. Oh, it's going to take a long time. Oh, yeah, it's going to take a while. As for us, it's going to take us, well, still quite the while. Oh, that sucks. But at least I don't have to develop it. At least. I can uh, tank these costs for a little while. At least another 11 years I can tank uh, these costs, so. We'll just chillax, we'll just wait. And if we ever get the opportunity, I'll invade Aragon again. Still have that truce though, for a little while. We'll see. National unrest for prestige? I'll take the national unrest, no problem with that. Just waiting for these guys to tick down, so I will eventually... Get myself some religious separatists by throwing on a missionary in there. Now I believe what you need to do is have separatism, uh, give less unrest than your, you know, active missionary would. So, for instance, putting our, sorry, I have an active missionary right now. But as you can see, putting an active missionary happens to, uh, actually change that to Religious Separatist, because, well, you know, it gives plus six active missionary. I don't know if Intolerance also gives that kind of a bonus or not. Don't know if uh, Intolerance, you know, contributes to any of that or not. It might. It might. Not sure. I'll accept this, but I don't know if it'll even cause any issues. I don't think so. I'm just going to move the ships about, because I'm... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've raided everything, so... I'll move everything back into here. And we'll chillax. Uh, we happen to be fighting like everyone, though. That's not good. Awfully bold of you, Ottomans. Awfully bold indeed. Was that a good decision? We'll see. I mean, I'm not going to fight. That's none of my business, but... We'll see how the Ottomans do. I can give some naval support, and that's true. The Ottomans have a good navy regardless, but I can still give some support. Need to get rid of these ships somehow. Oh, and I can raid this. Apparently I didn't. Did I skip more raiding? Now I'm curious. Did I miss anything else? Maybe. Stability cost modifier. Is it worth it to take this? Hmm. To take a plus one before we have to move on? Before it costs extra? Hmm. Yeah, sure. Having plus one is generally worth it. Even if it costs me a little bit. Might as well. Admin or local unrest where? In Anaba? Not sure I care too much about that province. Over here, five dev. Hmm, nope, you can have some local unrest. That's okay. I'll grab myself a quick claim over here. Looks like Aragon's getting destroyed. Rip. You're fighting against Navarra, Naples, Brittany, and Aragon. Hmm. Well, a weakened Aragon is my preferred type of Aragon, so... Do your thing. While I go over here and clean up the Genoan ships. Genoese ships, sorry. Don't have a heavy ship to use, but my galleys do have... A significant combat bonus, and you have no leader, so... 
We should do fine. Those ships are avoiding because they know they'll lose. Okay. Sounds good with me. Sounds good to me. Oh boy. Yeah, this waiting game's a whole bunch of fun, isn't it? Oh yes it is. Lots and lots of fun. Put myself to speed 5. Not much we can really do for now. Building up points and making sure we can explode with power later. How are, how are you looking? 25. The AI will usually embrace off of like a province or two, so... Any opportunity you get... Which will still take a really long time. God damn. That's going to take a while. Unless they actually manage to take one province off of Aragon. And in that case, that works out really well. Because, uh... Then Castile will get a few provinces. It'll spread faster. True enough. True indeed. Oh, you're actually trying to siege my fort. Well, it's a good thing I didn't put it down. Um, that's the worst possible way you could have chosen. How about we do this instead? Let's get ourselves the cavalry and... Sorry, how many do we have? 15? Not a bad number. Okay. 11 of these guys. And I will assign you onto the ship with the leader. And we'll stack wipe these guys in the mountains. Easy win. At least it should be. Yeah, Skanderbegs died a long time ago. He won't be here to help you now. Easy stack wipe. Okay, so... Genoa would probably want out of this war if I helped a little bit, so... How about I do this? Send these guys back home. And I blockade reports. That might get Genoa out. Maybe. I don't want to do too much in this war. But I'll sit here and I'll raid some coasts. For some quick cash. Not much cash, but at least something. You can also get rid of some of your ships. Because why not? Jeez, my galleys are way too powerful. This is really just a 20% buff? Because this seems a little bit broken. 20% co galley combat ability. God damn. Feels a lot stronger than I think it should, but... Uh, I'm not the game designer. Works just as intended. Okay, I'll just blockade a uh, along here then. I don't think there are any other ships out of port right now. They don't have too many anyway, so I'll just sit here. And I'll just wait. Mm, unless you plan to actually siege that, and then I will not wait. Okay, that's Bosnia. For some reason, I thought that was Naples, but nope. Okay, we're solid. Hmm, National Manpower Modifier or Extra Prestige? Good question. Well, I am saving... Quite a bit of cash off of this. And I'd like to keep saving that cash. Hmm. I'll just go for the prestige. Grab these guys and I'll bring them over here. I'll also... Maybe build some buildings. Let me check. In Tunis. Yeah, I might as well build one in Tunis. Uh, we could also get ourselves a bit of extra manpower from there, which wouldn't be the worst decision. Sorry, boys. There's no way to escape. I'll make sure of that. Rip. Well, there goes Albania. Don't know why they decided to come here instead of defending their homelands, but uh, just AI things, I guess. I'll make sure no one else comes along here. Never mind, you got there, well, the most inopportune time for you, I guess, because now you have to die, so. It's a bit of a rip. Maybe I'll just keep the guys here. Maybe I'll just leave them on the island. Rip. Okay, I'll just leave you guys here for now. How are you guys looking? Minus is 8 point, sorry, that's a plus 8.5. Okay, well, not too long. We don't have to wait too long for some potential religious rebels to spawn, which is great. I would also love to try and pop out a vassal out of Tun uh, sorry, out of Morocco here, preferably Seuss actually, because although you know Tafalalt would be great, I really want this gold mine. So I could, well, they just ask for it for the entire game, wouldn't they? 
but you are like my only option. Without too much aggressive expansion. Hmm. I could take the gold mine later though, right? If I take these things, take this, release as a vassal. And then take this for myself. Yeah, that's not the worst thing ever. I can live with that. Separate wars. That, yeah, that's cool. That's fine. Speaking of wars here, can, can you guys finish this off? You've taken the capital. Can we really not just end this? Gotta wait for Hungary to peace out, I guess, huh? Well, sure thing. I'll go and I'll at least get rid of some ships. That's all I'm good for, really. Apparently, yeah, it's the only thing I'm really good at. Deleting navies. Speaking of which, mine's a little too large. Hmm. It's only costing me about a, a ducat extra to project my naval influence, so I think I'll just keep them. Better to pay for a stronger navy than to suffer with a weaker one. If only I could catch you. A little too fast for me. Yeah, that sucks, but oh well. Marketplace and the mosques are done. Beautiful. Should get a little bit of extra money out of that. Not much, just a tad bit. We also get rid of you guys. There we go. Don't want that royal marriage, thank you. Uh, did I ally you? Good question. I happened to, and I can't quite remember the reason why. Was it a potential ally for the time being? Eh, maybe. It could have been a temporary ally. Well, that's fine. Don't really need to, to destroy you yet. Looks like you're gonna get destroyed anyway. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't quite, um, vassalize you, so it'll just keep you around for a little while. I need to do my conversion first before I kick off this whole conquering business. Don't want to jeopardize any of those barks. I'll let some of them repair. I'll do this. I'll chase down some ships. Okay, I mean, so far so good. We'll just leave this guy on here, actually. Um, are you a state? No, I did not state core you. Okay. How's everything else going? I'm still looking for this institution. Well, you guys are getting it quite fast, actually. Oh, well, fast is maybe an overstatement. But, um, nearby friendly province that has it. Well, not quite the fastest thing I've ever seen, but, hmm, that kind of sucks. It still hates me, so we're not going to get it from uh, Alicante. Oh, that really does suck. Oh, well. We'll just build it up in here then. Syracuse is, is doing okay. I could just state core you. But I really don't want to. I need to save my points. I did a lot of early conquering, so... I'm gonna save my points for now. How are you guys looking? Just about one more month left. Okay. That's cool. We should all go up to there, right? No? Okay, cool. Do it myself. How's this war going? You guys are fine, right? Well, you're invading Cyprus, which means Cyprus is not yet a vassal of the Mamluks, which kind of tells me that it's not going to happen. I don't think they're going to ever become a vassal of the Mamluks, which is a shame, but mm, that's okay. I've already chosen my path anyway. I'm not really too concerned with, uh, with getting that done. What are you at? Eight? Okay, yeah, that's going to take a few more years, unfortunately. Unless Intolerance does anything? If Intolerance changes things, then I'll go for it, definitely, but... For now, it would be... If I, if I do this, Missionary Maintenance zero. No, the active Missionary does... Oh, never mind. Catholic Zealots. It looks like the Intolerance actually does fix that. Okay, cool. Cool, that's great, actually. Let's try and get those Catholic Zealots as high as we can. Unfortunately, it's just Syracuse that I can do for right now, but... I guess that would make sense, because... Zealots can spawn without the, um... Without the existence of a missionary, right? Which means the Intolerance does affect it as well. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha, okay. 
How long will that take? Oh, five years? Oh, you're kidding me. Um, there's another way I can actually provoke them. Right? Like, if I turn Syracuse into a full core, and we wait until the war's done, I can decrease that maintenance, or sorry, I can decrease that autonomy and provoke them faster. Do I have a... Uh, no, okay. There's no national unrest issues I should be worried about. Okay, that's fine. Um, can I give anything to the merchant guilds? I can indeed. This one province. I probably should. Yes. Or I can give it to these guys, and then I could make them angry, but... Hmm. I'd much rather just give them to these guys. And I'll do that, and I'll ask for some money. Fantastic. Okay. That'll supplement my treasury for a little while. I really am just waiting on these uh, on this war to finish, honestly. It's a good thing we got a pretty good admiral out of it, though. I'll use you for trade, but unfortunately we can't hold too many admirals. Battle or trade? Definitely battle's more important. Unfortunately, I like the five maneuver for trade, but unfortunately that battle is a little too precious for me. Any more ships I can destroy really is the only thing I'm useful for, so. Let me see if I can get these those uh, the Hungarian ships, not Venetians. Come on, finish this war, please. I don't want a separate piece, because that creates big trust issues. Everyone's low. Every single person is low. No one wants to be fighting this war anymore. And yet the Ottomans still fight. Well, if they're going to be stubborn, at least I'll help them. Get that siege a little bit faster. Uh, I could core you as well. Uh, I don't really want to, not yet. Not quite. Oh boy, this is going to take its time. And hey, we're getting there in Syracuse though. Not bad. In fact, if I developed it once, we'd be doing pretty okay. I keep capturing ships, god damn it. Too many ships. Did I just capture a heavy? God. <laughs> oh, that's how today's going, huh? I guess I really am just the, uh, the pirate master of capturing ships. Though I kind of wish I wasn't. Okay, okay, I see. Sienna's gone. There we go. I got 20 ducats. Well, fantastic, I guess. Wonderful. I'll go and do this siege as well. I mean, Genoa doesn't want to fight anymore. They don't want to be a part of this. What's going on here? What? Hmm? Castile's a junior partner of Austria. Well, on today's episode of Cursed Europe... Uh, we have an unexpected development that I don't want to see. But it appears Castile is disloyal to Austria. And France is trying to contest that throne. Which, well, judging by the numbers here. France probably, why, yeah, actually it's a pretty even fight now that I think of it. I was going to say they won't win, but it's kind of even. Hmm interesting development god I really wish I really wish Austria I mean I really hope Austria wins this one this is terrifying to be honest with you I want Austria to win because if Austria wins Castile's going to be disloyal never mind Austria's gonna win anyways uh, when Austria wins this in theory then France is not gonna be as much of a problem this is still an issue obviously you know, the uh, whole austro uh union here is, is not looking nice, to me at least, but... Well, I don't even know what to say. There's no good commentary here, I'm just... This sucks. <laughs> uh, we'll deal with it in time. I'll say, hey, look at me, fellow Catholic nations. We'll be totally okay if we work together, and I totally won't try and kill you to form Rome. Um, yes, indeed, we'll be best friends. Please don't kill me. So I'll take some trade efficiency, and I'll, I'll... I'll definitely have this happen, right? Totally. 
Um, so there's Sicilian Separatists here. Which will actually be Sicilian. I can only have one set of Catholic Zealots at a time. I can't have both. Not until this goes, like, all the way down. Once Separatism, like, drops, then I can deal with that. In fact, I might just bring you to Messina. Just so I can, you know, really quickly uh, deal with that. Um, lose 23 ducats to merchant guilds like me, and I lose trade value in Tripoli. Well, that's not the worst thing. I'll deal with that. It's trade value, not trade power, so... The whole node just loses a little bit of money, but that's okay. Okay, so I could increase the... The autonomy here and then decrease this autonomy. Of course, we have to wait for this whole ordeal to finish itself. Please end this war. But once the Ottomans reach medium, or once they reach low, they'll definitely peace out. That's just how it works. Both sides are low. Generally, the AI will just peace out. And they've just lost a pretty crucial battle, so... Please hit low? Nope, still medium. Well, great. Absolutely wonderful. In the meantime, I'm just going to send out these guys to do their business. Uh, go to Tunis, do this. You guys can just, I don't know, raid coasts or something. Well, not for another year, never mind. Yeah, look, we have a call for peace. Just take the province and leave. It's done. Come on. You can ask for money or prestige. I'll be okay on money. I'd rather raise prestige. You can save a little bit of extra points, so I'm okay with this. Uh, we finally have ourselves the Renaissance here, and it should spread pretty quickly to Tunis. Uh, I'm just going to give, give myself a bit of advancement to make that go extra fast. Okay, that's looking nice. 80, uh, sorry, 1482. Well, that's not the worst time I've embraced in, so I'll accept that. Might as well try and improve my relationship with France as well. Sort of depending on uh, how this whole thing turns out. What do I get here? 25 ducats. Ah, oh, beautiful. What a time to be alive. A little bit of stuff from air. I could grab these, but I surely won't. What a time to be alive. You'd at least peace out Hungary, right? You would think... Oh, thank the lord. Okay. Literally, because now I can do this. Make them even angrier. Beautiful. So the Catholic Zealots should only take about 2.3 years. Ah, what a wonderful time to be alive. So I'm going to go and rival Aragon, likely. Because we know for, you know, for certain that uh, Castile will not be getting the personal union over Aragon. Definitely not, so we'll be fine for, uh, for that department here. I'm also going to move my troops very, very far away. Or will I? I'll do that so I don't have to have troops there. One set of rebels, nothing else, please and thank you. No Sicilians. Simply religious zealots, please. So we'll decrease that. We'll bring all the boys home. My navy is ridiculously expensive now. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of some. So what do we have? Way too many cogs. Okay, we'll get rid of some cogs then. Uh, after they move some guys over. Let me also improve my relationship with the auto lads. And let me grab myself a bit of aggressive expansion. Sounds like a good plan to me. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Once I convert, it's time to invade everyone. Catholic land and Sunni land. It's all going to be a fair game at that point. So I'm going to bring these guys over. Hopefully we can get those Catholic Zealots uh, by the end of today's episode, because we're really close to the end of it. Uh, I'll go to Legalism, of course. Oh, it's actually gone to here so fast that it works out. Okay. 82 still, not too long. I'll get rid of this. I will drop down every single fort I have. Come on, baby. You guys got this. 21 unrest. Should only take 1.4 years, and I'm rooting for you. Is there anything else I can do to make them angry? I don't think so. I've done, like, everything I can think of, at least. So. Hopefully they go ahead, they take everything, go to my capital, and convert me. Hopefully. 
Uh, unfortunately, if if they don't convert half of my stuff and they take my capital first, that's a failed run for these zealots. Because I need them to take everything else around me first. If not, it doesn't really work out. Let's see if I can raid here. Yes, beautiful. I'm going to keep myself afloat with some quick plundering. While I also get rid of, like, what? Four of these cogs, right? Sure, I'll get rid of four of them. Oh, there we go. I suppose technically I could also just sell them, but... Oh well. The Ottomans are administrating an empire. Well, good for them. We'll go up over here, take a couple of these things. A little bit more raiding here and there. How about this? No. Too far. How about over here? Nothing to raid, actually, so I might as well just go back home. We do have enough money to embrace it. Oh, maybe I should just embrace it. If I have the money, why wouldn't I, right? Right? I could also wait two years, but nothing's going to happen in these two years. So you know what I should do? I'll just embrace it. I'll just take these things. Even though they cost a little bit, uh, I want to grab that just because I wouldn't, you know, don't want to get rid of those points. And over here... Interesting, actually, because most of these actions I'll take would actually get rid of this. I'll lose a couple points here, but... Actually, if I don't take it, I'll be losing points. I'll just take it. Costs a little extra. Maybe I should have waited. Maybe I... Maybe I do have low IQ. I don't know. Anyways, today's episode is actually pretty much over. Tomorrow we'll do the swamp to Catholic, hopefully. These rebels are getting pretty close. But for now, this is Corbett signing off. Hoping you had a fun time here today, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a special thank you to the following patrons. In the $1 tier, we have Quiet Guy, Quigersol, Rising Runner, DLNM, and Francesco. In the $3 tier, we have Ben Greenhagen. In the $10 tier, we have Natsuki. And in the $20 tier, we have Chewy Shoot. Thank you guys so much for helping to move this channel forward. You guys mean a lot to me, and I couldn't possibly thank you enough.